Newton Centre. This is Live at Five with Jeremy Thompson. Very good evening. Our top story live at five. Tensions in Tehran. More than 100,000 opposition supporters have taken to the streets of the Iranian capital as anger grows over the country's election result. They were warned not to rally but still defied the president, gathering to see the man he defeated. As they demand a rerun of the election, international condemnation of the result grows too, with the White House voicing its concerns. Our foreign affairs editor Tim Marshall is in Tehran and sent this report. A sea of green surged into Revolution Square. The place named after the 1979 Islamic Revolution. The very event many of the protesters now want to see overturned. Give us our votes, they chanted. Go, go, dictator, they screamed. The crisis in this country is not just about the election. Behind the anger at the alleged vote theft is something even deeper. Frustration at living in a theocracy. In stark contrast to Sunday's pro Ahmadinejad rally, Monday's event was packed with women. That they turned up at all is testament to the depth of feeling. Earlier in the day, the Interior Ministry had declared the rally illegal and later authorised the use of live ammunition to suppress rioting if it occurred. In the event, the numbers were too great. Force would have sparked an uprising. An early show of force failed to cow those descending on the square, including the opposition leader himself, Mir Hussein Mosavi. He appeared to a roar of approval and to a moment which comes rarely. Until today, the biggest protests have been a decade ago. This is the most powerful show of popular dissent since the revolution itself. Earlier, the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, had agreed that the Guardian Council will investigate the election. But he picks the council, and the opposition will not be confident of the decision being overturned. At Tehran University, students held a sit-in. On Sunday night, they'd been attacked by a civilian militia. Coup d'etat dictator, they chanted. That was a cry taken up in Revolution Square. Turning out these numbers does not mean the election will be rerun. But the Ayatollahs know, out there in the streets, they're being given a run for their money. Tim Marshall, Sky News, Tehran. Well, let's go straight to Tehran now, and Tim Marshall, our foreign affairs editor, is there. Um, tell us the latest on the level of dissent, Tim. Uh, much bigger than I think most people, including myself, expected. Uh, it, we thought a few thousand people might try and brave the threats that had been made, and it turned into the tens of thousands. I think you can say that quite confidently. I was down on the ground myself as people were coming into uh, the Revolution Square. Also, other eyewitnesses that were down there. Some people are putting it as high as 100,000. I think that's quite possible. And the question now, though, Jeremy, is having had the rally, had the violence, the mass rally, and the uh, inquiry that will now take place, do they stop and wait 10 days? Because a pause can be fatal, or do they keep going? We've heard there's going to be another rally tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Things change every hour, though, and this rally will not be at Revolution Square. It will be at the square uh, just over to my right, where yesterday President Ahmadinejad, Ahmadinejad held his rally. Tim.